And China continues to record high numbers of daily COVID-19 cases in the country today, reported more than 16,000 confirmed and asymptomatic cases. This is one of the highest numbers in two years due to the new outbreak of the Omicron variant, with the epicenter being Shanghai, the country's financial center, and home to 26 million people. China's postal infest paid mega city of Shanghai has come to a halt to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Nearly all of its 26 million people have been confined to try to curb the worst outbreak of the new coronavirus in China since the pandemic broke out in 2020. Shanghai, China's second most populous city and its main financial center, stepped up epidemiological control measures after registering more than 13,000 cases of infection in a single day, most being asymptomatic. After originally adopting a more sexual approach aimed at minimizing economic disruption, Shanghai imposed broader restrictions as the authorities struggled to contain the resurgence associated with the Omicron variant. Yesterday, the number of newly reported local cases that tested positive for COVID-19 exceeded 10,000 for the first time in Shanghai, reaching 13,354. Since March, Shanghai has reported more than 73,000 cases that tested positive in the current wave of infections. The Omicron variant can quickly disseminate with a longer incubation period at present. The epidemic situation in Shanghai is highly volatile and extra-volatile. While its sexual quarantine was initially reported, the containment measures now cover more than 25 million people after restrictions were extended until further notice and new rounds of mass nucleic acid testing were initiated to find all those infected, especially those without symptoms. Public transport is suspended from one side of the city to the other, including metro, buses, taxis and ferries, as well as private vehicles. Rapid antigen tests are also being distributed to households. Nearly 40,000 health professionals and military doctors from different parts of China are arriving in Shanghai to help the metropolis deal with the outbreak in what Chinese authorities have described as the largest nationwide medical operation since the closure of Wuhan in early 2020. While the rest of the world tries to live with the virus, China maintains its zero-COVID policy and assures that it will do whatever is necessary to prevent the spread of the virus. At the same time, it has softened its approach in some respects to avoid disruptions to the domestic economy and global trade.